Welcome in, along with Sam Monson. This is Steve Palazzolo. And today it's all about the Chicago Bears, Sam. And Bears fans have to be thrilled. 48-10 to victory over the Tampa Bay Bucs. They've been squeaking out some victories because of their defense. Quarterback Mitch Trubisky has been struggling this year, but all of a sudden breaks out against the Bucs with a career game. What did he do to put up those monster numbers? Through six touchdown passes. This was absolutely phenomenal from Trubisky. He managed to pass to his left. That's how big a game this was. He ended up having a huge game and delivering the ball where it needed to go, putting some legitimate throws in the air. Really, this season, though, is coming down to Trubisky's play under pressure. Against the Bucs, he was pressured just four snaps. That's nothing. Only dropped back 28 times, so it was a relatively limited sample size in which to pressure him. But even so, four snaps is nothing. The thing is, though, in those four snaps, he was 0 for 3 with a sack there. I've got absolutely nothing done when he was pressured. And that's been the story of his season so far. When you look at what he's done, his passer rating from a clean pocket has been 107. That's the same pass rating as Aaron Rodgers. So that's a pretty good place to be when you're with Aaron Rodgers. When he's been pressured though, that pass rating drops all the way to 71. That's a much, much lower figure. It's down in the middle of the pack towards the end of the NFL. That's been his problem. With this season, everything else is clicking for the Bears, but Trubisky, when he's been pressured, has just fallen apart. This was the game that kind of summed up all of our off-season analysis. We have yeah. multiple videos here on the YouTube channel talking about, all right, what's the next level for this Chicago offense? We love what they did in the off-season. This was like a whole off-season's worth of analysis just crammed into one game. Tariq Cohen catches seven passes for 121. They get Taylor Gabriel involved. He caught all seven of his targets for over 100 yards. Allen Robinson finds the end zone. Trey Burton finds the end zone. All of these additions and then that movable chess piece like Tariq Cohen and Matt Nagy's system, it all came together for one game. How does Trubisky go, though, from a guy that only really looked good, if you watch those first few Bears games, only really looked good on, like, the first drive when they were scripting it. And once the game flow started to unfold a little bit, he struggled at times and he looked really uncomfortable. He was just so comfortable on Sunday. And how much do you chalk it up to just it being the box? you know, going up against Trubisky and, and, and you know, un, the inability to pressure him, as you said. So still some question marks, but just love the step that the Bears have taken and that Trubisky took in this game. I mean, this season, we said, is all, all going to come down to Trubisky. The defense has been fantastic as well. Khalil Mack has still not slowed down after arriving in Chicago. Another strip sack this weekend. He's been absolutely on fire. So the defense is good. The weapons are good in offense. The scheme is good. And the offensive line has been okay. That means the only variable left is Trubisky and what he's going to do. And at least this game showed that he does have the potential to meet the, the expectations around him and lead this team where it needs to go. The question is, can he do it consistently? And what happens if he does fall under more pressure? Because so far, that's been when things have gone rocky. If you have our premium stats and you check out the Bears' the defense grade, it is sitting atop the loaded NFC, even ahead of the Los Angeles Rams. So the big question is, how do they duplicate this thing? How do you bottle up six touchdown Mitch Trubisky? And even if it's not six touchdowns every week, just that comfort level in the pocket, the ability to spread the ball around. Because if he does, like you said, if he does continue that play, the Bears all of a sudden are in that conversation with the Rams, with the Eagles, with the Packers, with the top teams in the NFC. Yeah, I think the big thing for them has got to be figuring out a way to keep him protected, to keep him in a clean pocket where he's shown he can be really effective. You know, he may never progress to being that next great quarterback if he's always going to struggle in those situations, but you can at least determine how much he's going to get pressured. You can work at limiting the amount of pressure that gets to him, and so far, when that's happened, he's been absolutely fantastic. That is what you need to try and control as you go forward. Lucky for Trubisky, the Bears are also sitting atop our pass blocking grades in the entire NFL with a 90.7 grade. You guys can check out all of the grades, all a part of your PFF Elite subscription. It's all in premium stats 2.0. Be sure to check out more great Bears coverage on ProFootballFocus.com and right here on the YouTube channel.